You know, it's almost like your birthday with a package from China, so let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, no doggy, no doggy. We're going to take a close look at this weird plug and play device I picked up recently on our local site called Marplots. Yeah, that's like the dish page where I can find all of these weird controls, consoles, weird stuff. Let's put it that way. But this seems to be like a Sega device with three buttons, so quite interesting and I'm curious what kind of games are on it and how good is it. What makes this thing really unique is very simple, is that we're going to get two controllers and one with an audio jack, because this thing needs to be connected in that one. Yeah. So I have found this product and it was not cheap like always, but doesn't matter, I want to make a review about it, I just wanted to show you. It works on four AA batteries. But the weird thing is like the controls, normally we're going to get sick button, the shape, it is nothing like in Sega Mega Drive or there is no decal whatsoever, no add games. So that's pretty clear, very interesting. On and off switch over there. This is the jack output and the reason why, because here we're going to connect the second controller that we're going to try out in this video. So the floating D-pad that we've seen before with many different devices, they are not really bad. Select start, A, B, A, C, and of course the LED for the power. So let's get ourselves some batteries and let's hook it up because I am curious. First of all, does this thing even work? Okay, for plugging it in, there is no HDMI, it's old school, yep. Okay, so let's plug it in, one for the video and one for the audio, so it's going to be freaking mono sound. Let's power it on the device and let's see what we're going to get with this machine. All right, let's power it on and let's see what we're going to get. Hmm. Sonic and Knuckles, Alien Storm, Columns, Golden Axe. And that's it, folks. So <laughs> there are actually like five freaking games on this machine. Okay, whatever. Let's power it on. Oh, boy. Okay, that doesn't sound great. Okay, here it comes. Huh. I was thinking it's going to be like sounding really fast, but it sounds really slow. <laughs> the D-pad is quite comfortable, and same goes for the controller. But the weirder thing is with this device is that it is Sega games. There is no ad games on this machine. Like, what the hell is going on with this time controller? But also interesting thing is that we can play together with two players. That is something you don't see very often with plug and play devices. Oh, the sound effects are all being messed up. <laughs> yeah, Doggy, I know. It's really horrible. I agree with you. I agree with you. Let's try another game. I'm going to kill myself in this game. Yeah. Woohoo! Alright, so let's connect the second controller over here. Okay, it seems to be fitting in. Okay, that is interesting. So it also has an LED, you can turn it on and off. Okay, so let's put this thing on the side. Uh, any stone can be played together with somebody. I'm just going to play by myself. Me, myself and I. All right, let's power it on. Oh, here it says one player, two player version. Yeah, it seems to be working. And now let me guess, I'm turning it off. Oh, it's like the character, but That doesn't do anything. When I'm turning it on. Quite interesting. I have never seen a plug and play device that has like compatibility with a second controller. Fun fact like this thing weighs almost nothing because the batteries are in this freaking thing. But there was no way of. Yeah, there was basically no way to say like connect a 9 volt adapter or something like that. Okay. Hm. Let's power it up. See, there is no Ad Games logo whatsoever. Hmm. Oh boy, this sound is really bad. Oh, 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 oh. oh, thanks. Because I couldn't take it anymore. What a really awful sound. The weird thing is, like, some sound effects are okay, but some are, like, freaking awful. Okay, let's press the menu button again. Uh huh. Okay, let's see. Golden X.
But if you're wondering why the music is so slow, is that because this are like all the PAL games. But in the top, I think you couldn't see it like it says Sega Mega Drive. So it indicates that it's a Mega Drive system. Oh crap. Always doing that. I was like, which button should I have? Click. He's going to get stab me in the back. Come on. Oh, the went okay this time. Oh crap, I was too late. Okay, let's press the menu button again. The last one, Shadow Dancer. There was also like a big sound difference between the game. Because columns are really loud. This game so doesn't sound that bad. Oh crap. Shadow Dance is a really cool game to play. Okay, so let's do a quick teardown to see what's inside it. I really love to do these teardowns nowadays. In the beginning I was more like, mm, I'm afraid to break it. But now I'm more like, yeah, let's rip it apart because I want to see what's in it. Let's see if I'm getting the... No, I'm not getting the right screwdriver. There's always a pain in the ass to find the right screwdriver. Damn it! Arr! Okay, so this is what we're going to get in the end, like two shells. This one contains the battery compartment and two wires. The soldering itself, it's done okay. Well, let's take a close look in here. So it says here, digital media cartridge limited. And this thing is made in 2007. There is sadly no information whatsoever because there are two big blobs over here. Sadly, because we can't see what kind of chip is inside. I find it quite interesting that the jack can be used for a second controller. Here we're going to get the on and off switch. Because this version doesn't have, of course, a battery compartment, and there is only a controller inside. I just wanted to show you how big is this PCB inside the controller. And of course, nowadays I love to rip and tear these things. At the beginning I didn't do them very often because I was afraid to break everything when opening up. But you can see over here like the very thin wires. If you sh pull them too hard, you will break something. Alright, so let's open it up. Oh, that is interesting. So this version does contain more than I thought. So to begin with, like, there only comes two wires out of the cable. And that explains, of course, most of the time there's like stereo, jack plug. One goes over here and the other one goes over there. Here we're going to control the switch for on and off. I find it kind of interesting, like they're having an on and off switch for the second controller. You can just plug it out, right? Still, black blob, not a lot of information start reset so there are some more options like here we can have the plus a pc but there is of course nothing else to see 